Alex, what do you know about Clearview AI? Uh, as far as I know, they do facial recognition that they report to government agencies and things of the sort. Do I don't know a whole lot about them. Do you recognize but... this face? I do not, but he's quite scary. Yes. Um, so That is a man that would sell my data. Yes, this is a man that sold your data. This is the man that sold your data to the army. Uh, so Clearview AI is controversial because they have been mining photos that people have been putting up on the internet for a very long time in order to build models that make it really easy to identify someone based on incomplete, blurry, grainy, or otherwise not super great images of them. So what this technology is trying to do is make it possible to be able to uh, identify who someone is from a partial image or basically something that wouldn't have been able to produce a positive facial recognition match before. And the reason people don't like this is when you uploaded, you know, your like Facebook or Instagram photos, you probably weren't intending this guy to grab them and stick them into some, uh, some program that they was going to be sold to the U.S. Army. So the problem here, uh, according to this document, is the fact that the U.S. Army is using this for investigations and often turns these over to civilian authorities. And then when that happens, they often don't mention that Clearview AI was used as part of the investigation because, again, this is pretty controversial stuff. So um, can you see some of the problems with like, uh, you know, like the military, for example, using this to yeah, conduct investigations? A lot of problems with this. <clears throat> so um, there are some issues, again, with the company uh, and the way that they kind of represent themselves. Um, in one case, they, they uh, decided to say that they were like 90, I think like 90 something percent uh, accurate, but this had never been vetted by any outside party. And then in another case, oh, say 99.6% accurate. Um, provided by a benchmark from the University of Washington's uh, Megaface image data set, but it has never been verified by any, any third party. Mm -hmm. And then also they've um, had their system reviewed for bias by an independent panel of experts. But that independent panel of experts was um, appointed by Clearview. So uh, it doesn't really like actually <laughs> seems that many people have like looked at this and of course they've also like put the results of some of these like tests or other things they've done to try to prove how like benign or accurate or whatever this technology is and then immediately rip them down later so there's been a lot of very sketchy things this company has done around facial recognition technology and the fact that the military is, is using them for investigations is basically an admission of the fact that you know stealing everyone's social media uh, images compiling them and then making a product out of it was apparently a good idea because even though everyone doesn't want that to happen it looks like people are perfectly willing to buy the result and even though this company is controversial there's no issue if there's some sort of perceived benefit that could be got from it um although again in this case it seems like most of the third party or independent verification that was done was either paid for by clearview or otherwise just kind of a pr stunt so not very transparent company selling a very controversial like scraped uh like data derived like products to the government to then be used to send people to jail that sounds fun hmm. so, so do they cash like <clears throat> so do they scrape like a whole bunch of social media and then cash just like random faces to compare to if they like detect cybercrime or something so no so basically what their product is supposed to do is provide like a search service where hmm. after going through and scraping all these data of all all this data of all these people it's supposed to be able to take these images that are like again too blurry too otherwise like not clear to like get a, a match and use all these different images of all these different people to probably like build some sort of like model of what they look like from all these different angles and then be able to more accurately recognize them from mm -hmm. a variety of different angles, a variety of different positions, like that traditional facial recognition might not be able to do because it's working on a more simple data set. Um, in this case, if you just have an absolute ton of images of a person, then you can build a better, a better model. But typically people like um, consent or some sort of due process, like, you know, if you give your uh, if you give a, you know, a photo of yourself to the government, then like, okay, maybe there's some expectation they process it. But if you upload it onto social media, then it's a little bit different. Like, you know, yeah. you're not intentionally providing Clearview with like 700 photos of yourself. But if 700 photos of you are out there, then they can train a model on 700 different varieties. And it makes it really, really terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like. Uh, basically, it means that if this technology works the way that it says it works, it's terrifying. And if it doesn't work the way that it says it works, it's still terrifying because the people who are buying it and using it think that it works that way. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know whether I want to hope that this is just like a company that's like doing like a Theranos or if it's a company that's actually 
you know, like delivering a product that is this unsettling, but it is really unfortunate to see it being used in criminal investigations. And also it's unfortunate to see um, it, police officers and other people involved in criminal investigations trying to hide or minimize the role of this company in investigations, the same way that we saw with uh, like Stingray devices where they would deliberately omit it from investigations and find other ways the evidence like, could have been found or could have been gathered, which is clearly um, not ethical or and probably illegal on some level, but it was done in order to protect the technology that was doing all this crime fighting. And in the same way, um, that's the issue here. You never know if this potentially fallible and not very independently vetted technology could lead to real legal consequences for someone. And, uh, you know, we see false matches for uh, facial recognition all the time using a variety of different systems. Just because this one was, um, like, unethically sourced, like, doesn't really make me think it's going to be that much better. But hey, the U.S. military is uh, at least willing to try it out. But some of the marketing material for this was, like, kind of ridiculous. And again, like, anytime I see a company that's, like, like certifying its own board of independent experts to then go say that they're great. I'm just like, oh, wow, how nice, how nice for them to have been paid. Like, that's all that tells me. And that is all the news we have time for today. If you guys feel like we missed anything or if you want us to go deeper into another topic or if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them on the YouTube channel. We will make sure to include your questions on the weekly Q&A that we are doing next week on Tuesday. So we hope to see you there on that next live stream. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Alex? It's great being here. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next week. See you guys next week. Bye.